great day for Porsche, a great day for the 919, a great day for the entire Porsche team, a great day for Timo. What we work with is, uh, is a championship winning crew, we want Le Mans together, so there's a bond between us which showed as well today that we trust each other and we did great achievements because of that as well. So I think treating it like a race weekend was very important today. The reason why we did the, the tribute tour was uh, we didn't want to just put the, the car after this uh, successful racing era of the 919 hybrid simply into the museum. We wanted to do a kind of a tribute tour to say goodbye to this great car and uh, at the same time with the record attempts in Spa and here at the Nordschleife. We also wanted to showcase what current hybrid technology can produce in terms of lap times and performance. I remember we were in, uh, in Bahrain with all the, the technical crew from, uh, from Porsche. We said, yeah, that's interesting, but that's just crazy. How can we, how can we do that? We just say, okay, let, let's make it, let's do it. Uh, it's interesting. It's not something we get used to do for standard racing. Particularly for Nordschleife, we, uh, we put the guy with the most experience around this place in the car. And also, Timo was uh, the driver who was the first guy in, in the 919. We started with a check lap and then we had like one familiarization lap. And then the, the third lap already was quite a good one with the 524, but I said, I would like to have another one just to clean it up a bit and I knew that where, where I could gain a little bit of time. With this car on this track, I'm, I'm quite happy. Yeah, that was quite a good one. Lap time like this was always the target. I mean, whether or not we could have uh, achieved it at that time was, uh, let's say, um, uh, a bit of a dream. 